Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And, guys, it is now time to go after the great Tom and Khan. We have completed catching all of the unique Arctic railings. We had to catch the five of them, and I did catch them in the same spots that I fished for them in the last episode. It just took a lot of patience. I was only catching like one a day, so. It does take a while. You gotta, you know, like I said, you gotta be patient, and it isn't easy. But just a little bit of time and patience, you'll get there. But first of all, we need to get the mission set up here, guys, so that we can go after this particular fellow. Here it is, Solange River, Taman Khan. All right, and it says, "Great, you now have the perfect bait for the giant Taman." Look for the monster in the habitats of its kin. So the irregular taming spots would be the perfect locations. But remember, he does not like sunny weather. Equip the monster lure and fish it out. So we have to go fish for him at night. So let's go ahead and track this. And let's go ahead and check our inventory. This is the pole we're going to have to use. Because nothing else I have here is going to be strong enough. So let's see, it's probably under specials. Let's see here. If it's not here, it's going to be under the regular lures. It might be with the mouse lures. Let me see here. Here it is Water Vole Walker. Two ounce, seven aught. That's a big hook. Alright, and I've got 44 pound test on here. I'm hoping that's going to pull it off. And I think we might need a new fluorocarbon leader. That one's looking a little bit worn. So let's go ahead and make sure we have one that's going to handle it. Wait a minute, we've got 44 pound test. We have 44 pound fluorocarbon leader. Perfect. It's actually better. There we go. I'll have to throw out the other one. There we go. All right. Now that we got the mission, we're going to go to the spot where I've caught him in the past. And it looks like we're going to have to fast forward time since these guys are not real fond of sunny weather. All right. And I am going to use this boat. Because I like to go over here. This is a better spot. Let me go ahead and get this going. Yeah, this is a lot easier to manipulate. Yeah, and I like fishing over here by this rock. Okay, now if we catch this sucker, we're probably going to need to have the anchor lifted. So we might be floating downstream a little bit, but let's go ahead and get... Now well, that's what it looks like. It's a big lure. Now we need to go ahead and fast forward time, and I think I have to do... I'm going to have to pay for it, because we don't have time for that. All right, we are going to go to 9 p.m. at night, and here we go. Ooh, it is now night. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing set out. We'll see just how hard these guys are to catch. I'm going to try it with two first. If that doesn't do anything, we'll try three. Usually two works better for the walkers. For poppers, three. There we 
There we go. There we go. We got something here. Uh oh. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, there he really goes. Okay. He's a big fighter. Whew. This is going to take a while, guys. I have a feeling it's going to take a while. Okay, that's the furthest he's gone so far. Holy crap. Chill, dude. Yeah, I didn't lift the dang on anchor. I forgot. So now this is going to be a lot tougher. He could have just pulled the boat around. And there he runs again. He likes to do that. I haven't got him under 130 for long. That's usually when he bolts again. Yeah, one of my viewers said that with these guys, you really got to let them take it when they're wanting to take it. Reeling against them is just going to make them pull more. And that seems to be the case. The thing i got to watch, though, is they don't let too much slack it there because then you'll lose the fish damn he was close to that time okay there we go yeah these guys like I've lost a couple from them giving me too much slack okay now we're making some progress uh, 24, literally. Right off the boat. Eighteen, and there he goes again. Come on, big guy. Come on. Ah, we got him. Is this our friend? Nope, it is not. It is just a regular Siberian Taiman. Oh. Well, I'm telling you, I just learned something here, though, real quick, guys. And I'll tell you this for certain. As f hard as he was to fight, I better get something a little bit stronger than this rod. It is not going to pull it off. There's no way. No way, Jose. So what we're going to have to do here... I'm going to have to go away for a moment. I'm going to need to pick up another rod that I have. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys. I am back, and I have come prepared. This time, I have added another rod to my inventory. And it is called the Tropicana 7 foot by 7 inch. This is a monster rod. Picked it up when I got the... Amazonian Maze DLC goes up to 88 pounds 88 pound test for the the rod 83.7 pounds for the reel got 83.8 pound test for the floral the for the floral line and 83.8 pounds for the fluorocarbon leader so we are ready to rock and roll with this we are going to get this guy this time Hopefully, I will attract the right kind. 
go ahead and sell this because this looks like it's seen better days. All right. Well, all we can do is give it a try. Now let's look at the map here. We're getting ready to go into a peak. This time the peak's a little different than the last time I was here. It was uh, not quite as tall. I had a taller one here. We're going to try it at this point, and if we don't have any luck, then we can see if the next night's better. Yeah, this is this might actually be better. See how much higher it is than it is here. But we might do all right. Let's just see. All right, let's go ahead and get this out. Wait a minute, one more thing I need to do. Let's go ahead and... Because if I hook him, even with that, I want to be sure that I'm able to get him in. This guy is huge. I mean, he is supposed to weigh a whole bunch. And the last time I had more luck throwing up close to the rocks. So we're going to try it again, and two seem to be the one that got the other one's attention. So I don't know if this is going to be a better night or not. We'll see. We may be at this for a little bit, so if we are, we'll come back when... There we go. There we go. Whew. That took a while. I th I'm not sure if this is the right one or not, but considering this is 88 pound test line, I think it's got to be a good chance. Yeah, I think it's this is our guy. This has got to be our guy. It's also good to know that they love the Lord to begin with. The regular Taman. Oh yeah, he is going to give me a fight, but I am going to get him in. Even though I don't have the anchor up. I think this line can handle it. It's just going to be a bit of a fight. And that is fine with me. Ooh, this guy's strong. One strong fella. Okay, we've got a little bit of... Well, there he goes again. Yeah, this guy is strong. Okay, we're gaining some ground here this time. Let's see if we can't... I think we might have him, guys. Oh, shoot. There he goes. He is really a sneaky devil. He was literally just a few feet. Okay, and he's doing it again. There we go. We got him. We got him. This has got to be him. Ye no, it's not. <laughs> it's a trophy. It's a silly trophy. Oh, good lord. Why do I have this bad feeling that this guy's going to be really tough to catch? <laughs> I think he's going to be very, very tough to catch, guys. Not Satan, but I'm starting to think. That was a trophy, and uh, he was he was tough to bring in. There it is. There's our next taker. Now this could be, it seems like they all have red fins, so that's not a giveaway. Caught that one a lot faster than I did the last two. 
But then it is after midnight, and that is the peak. No, I don't think they're going to be able to get away too, too far. So I don't think I have to worry about being spooled. Okay, he's going to make a run for it. Okay, I think this guy is decidedly bigger than the last one. Gotta keep the tension on him, guys. You gotta keep the tension on him. Like I said, they can get off of there. off. Anytime he pulls, let him pull. He'll let his guard down and you can get a little more line in. Nothing else. I'm making plenty of XP and plenty of money. Cause these are the guys to grind, I tell you. is making me work for it guys <laughs> uh, it's like a few feet at a time and that's about what we're doing hmm Oh, God. I got him within 30. Look at that pole shake. Okay, he's going to run a little bit more this time. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Oh my goodness, there he is, and that's him. That is him. Holy crikeys. Holy crikeys. 153.571 pounds, 64.269 inches, 12,547 cash. Now, my Premier account ran out, so that is how much you get. Premier account would have been a lot more. I oh, man, I wish I had had it still had the account, but oh well. Let's see what this fellow looks like. I have got to see him. Yeah, that is a fish. Holy crap. What a monster. He really is a monster. I'm just holding 153 pounds in the palms of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's something else somebody pointed out and that's, I'm like yeah I don't see that happening well, let me get a picture of him let's see maybe we can get a better angle over here we'll see what we get god that's a big fish yeah we wanted to get the fin that way yeah I don't want to block my face yeah, he's a big fella, without a doubt. We got him. There's another monster under our belt. And here's our reward. The Taman Con Mount. 
And on top of what we got for him, we also got 13,240 XP, 14,550 cash, and two bait coins, plus the Taman Khan mount. That's not a bad day's work. All right. Well, let me see. I am coming along past level 61 pretty well, guys. Well, anyway, that was him. That was the Monster Taming Con. We completed it. It took a while. It took three episodes, plus a lot of time off screen. Yeah, getting those Arctic Graylings, they are tough. They are very tough because you have to get only uniques, five uniques in that same area. But uh, the two areas that I showed you, I caught two in one and three in the other by the rock. The two were the logs where I caught two. So, you can get them in both areas. And I got them with a variety of things. I got them with the uh, bark beetles. I got them with um, the mini cranks. I got them with uh, dragonflies and spawn sacks. So those have been proven to be the best so far. Didn't get any with the mini, the, the minnows, the common minnows. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.